Hi and welcome back 2015. I hope you had a super break. Now I'm going to start the season off with a really easy recipe, a blue cheese dip. You could use this as a, as a dressing as well of course. Now the reason I'm making this is because some of my Aussie mates have asked me if I do those spicy buffalo wings. We've got Australia Day coming up towards the end of the month and I'm going to use the blue cheese dip with it. So stay peeled for that recipe. We're going to put an Aussie twist on the buffalo wings as well. Let's get on and make a blue cheese dip. Now, as with a lot of dips and dressings, we start with a good quality mayonnaise. Now, you can certainly use shop-bought. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make your own mayonnaise, and so, so quickly. I'm just going to take some canola oil. We're going to put about 250 millilitres, and that's just a cup of canola oil. Into that, we're just going to break one fresh egg. Now into that, I want to add about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, but white wine vinegar will be fine. We're going to season this with some salt and pepper, a little bit of black pepper in there, a few twists of salt, about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and I like to just sweeten it slightly with about three quarters of a teaspoon of sugar. Raw sugar, white sugar, it doesn't really matter. Now just look how quickly we're going to make this mayonnaise. I've got my stick blender here. Stick that into your oil and a few seconds later, we've got this wonderful thick mayonnaise. Now look at that. You can taste it now and you can adjust the seasoning if you like, but that is perfect for me. Now, most of us would finish the dip in this jug, but because I'm filming it, I'm going to put my cup of mayonnaise, a little over a cup now, into a mixing bowl. It's beautiful and stiff. Next, we have sour cream. Now, I'm going to put about 200 mils, three quarters of a cup would just about do you, a little bit less than the mayonnaise. Just pop that in there. So we've got our beautiful sour cream, our homemade mayonnaise. I've got some blue cheese here. Now, if your blue cheese is a little bit creamy and doesn't crumble, this one's crumbling quite nicely, you can always grate it into the mixture. Now, because my blue cheese is crumbling nicely, I'm just going to put it in as it is. You see all that lovely texture? We're just going to slide that in on top. Now don't forget, the cheese itself is pretty salty, so we probably don't need to season this anymore. I'm just going to mix that through. Now look at the beautiful texture of that. Now I'm just going to add a few chopped chives into that. And then before I mix the chives in, I'm just going to have a little taste and see if it needs any other seasoning. Now's the time to do it. It just needs, for me, a little extra black pepper. So I'm going to pop some black pepper in there. Give it that final stir round, and like I say, this will get better if you store it for a few hours before you use it, just to let the flavours get through the dip or the sauce. If you want it a little bit thinner for a dressing, put more sour cream in, it will actually get a little bit thinner. Now just come in here, I've got the blue cheese dip, I've sprinkled a little blue cheese, we've got our carrot and celery sticks and a great big gap at the front there because we are going to be making some fantastic buffalo wings to go with these Aussie style. Join me tomorrow for that. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it the thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Take care. It is wonderful having you back. Now, I'm going to leave some links up to some other dips on Steve's Kitchen. I did a whole series of dips last year. Uh, probably a link to some other videos here as well. Join me for the buffalo wings and uh, have a wonderful day. Be good. See you next time.